Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Pi-hole on Cost OS using Big Bear Cost OS, the third-party app store that makes it easier to install things. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what we'll be installing today, a black hole for the internet advertisements. And um, it's responsive, lightweight, a robust, insightful, versatile, and scalable and modern block ads over IPv4 and IPv6. Um, we're going to be installing it with uh, Big Bear Cost OS. So we'll, we'll get to explaining that. So um, I'm going to start on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to it. And I'm going to scroll down. So it is maintained by Big Bear Tech. We're on the Big Bear community. Um, it has quite a few apps now in it. And also, I did make a how to install video uh, for it, but I'm going to go over that as well here. Um, you will need CosOS version 0.4.4 newer to install app stores. I'm going to go up to the app store URL now. I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to go over my CosOS and get it installed. So I'm going to start on my CosOS. I'm going to go to App Store, and then I'm going to go to Add Source over here. Text input pops out, so I'm going to paste the URL that we copied in there. I'm going to say add. Now we have 124 apps, so you can go ahead and go over here and type pi in, and then you'll see Big Bear Cost OS right here. So that's how you know that it's coming from Big Bear Cost OS, this category right here. I'm going to refresh the page, go back in the app store, and now you can see the, um, the, ca the category here, so you can see all the apps that are in Big Bear Cost OS. So, we got the App Store set up. So now we'll start on a Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go into Apps. Then I'm going to go down to um, Pi-hole right here. I'm going to go into Docker Compose. So, the Cost OS app ID is Big Bear Pi-hole. Set some services. And the service underneath the service called App. And then container name is Big Bear Pi-hole. The image is coming off Docker Hub because there's no URL before this, so it's pie hole, pie hole. And, and then the Docker image tag is uh, 2023 10 0. And then the container restart policy is on a stop, so that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart, but if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. I'm going to set some environment variables, so the time zone and the web password of how you log into pie hole. You can change this if you'd like right here. And then now volumes to be mounted. So data, app data, app ID, which is a dynamic variable. You can get that from here, the, the name. So it the name I, I got goes into here. And then it's Big Bear Pie Hole and then ETC. So this is on the host side. And this is on the container. So ETC Pie Hole. And then now on the host side is a, a, a data, app data, dynamic variable, which is the big bear pie hole, and then a DNS mask dot D. And then on the container is etc DNS mask dot D. I'm going to set some ports. So 53 is on the host, 53 is on the container, and then TCP and UDP, and then 67 on the host, 67 on the container. 80, 80 on the uh, host and 80 on the container. And then 10, 4, 4, 3 is on the host and 4, 4, 3 is on the container. Um, so XCASA OS, it, uh, this is information to explain the volumes and the ports. And also on the left side, the host ports, you can change if these collide except the 53 uh, because that's the, um, the, uh, the DNS the DNS port and then now X cost OS information again and this explains the app store so AMD 64 architectures and ARM 64 that's what this image up here supports 
And then now the main aligns with the app name up here under the services and description for the app store, the tagline, and then the developer is pihole.net, the author of Doc Proposes Big Bird Tech World, the icon to be used, and then the thumbnail is empty, the title, and then the um, ch uh, ch changing to where it, it puts ad admin on the end, so it automatically goes to the, the dashboard to, to, to log in. And then the application category, this means that uh, this will categorize all the apps in Big Bear Cost OS and put them under this category. So you always know that the apps are coming from Big Bear Cost OS and not the real app store. And then port map is 8080 and that aligns with the 8080 right here. So that's the web UI port. So that's a little bit about the Docker Compose. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now that I've explained it, let's go to the Cos OS and App Store and the search. I'm gonna put in Pi. And then here we go right here, Big Bear Cos OS Pi Hole. So you can go ahead and install it. And now what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker container from the registry, getting it extracted, getting it up with Docker uh, comp Compose. So we can continue in background and um, you can see it's up and ru running. This sometimes gets stuck, so you can just reload the page. There we go. Now I'm going to go over where the files are. So if you go into the files app in Cost OS, and then you go to app data, you go to Big Bear Pi Hole, you can see the DNS mask.d right here. So you can see the files in here. You can also see the files in ETC, and you can you can go into them. Um, you can also go and check mark these and download, copy, cut, delete, and cancel. You can also go to each one and go to this uh, horizontal dot and uh, dots and then uh, download, copy path, rename, cut, copy, share, and delete. So that's a little bit about the files. So I'm gonna go over the container settings. So if you go to Pi-hole right here, you go to the vertical dots. You go to the web UI here. You can set some tips. It's kind of like a notepad. And um, you can just type in here, press the save button, it'll reload the container in the background and say pi hole is okay. And then you go back into tips, you can see it did save. You can go into settings right here, you can change some info and then press the save button. You can also go up to terminal logs, have a terminal straight in the container. You can also go see the logs, great for debugging. You can export the Docker Compose and then I'm gonna exit out of here. So. You can check for updates for the current tag it's on. You can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So now I'm gonna go into the UI. So um, let's first go see the password. So you can go up to vertical dots, go to settings, and then you can scroll down to web password right here. And this is your password. So I'm gonna just copy that and then X out of here. So you can go to the web UI from here, or you can go from it for here. Now you can just paste in your password. You can say log in. Now you can see total queries, queries blocked, percentage blocked, domains on ad list, to total queries, query types, and upstream servers. You can go in the query logs and see the DNS queries. You can see the log term, uh, long term data, query logs, top, top list, groups, client. A, do a domains, the add list to where you can add another list to uh, increase the block list, and you can disable blocking. You can set up local DNS, so DNS records and CNAME records. You can go to Pi-hole a diagnosis and then update gravity and then search add list, audit logs, and tell pi-hole.log tell ftl.log, gen generate a, de a debug log, a network. You can go into settings 
And you can disable query logging, flush network table, restart DNS resolver, flush logs, power off system, and restart system. You can go into DNS and you can set up your DNS uh, upstream uh, DNS servers right here. And you can also uh, I I add upstream DNS servers, like a custom ones, like if you have an unbound on the system, different things. And um, there's a lot of options. You just press the save button. You can set up your own DHP server. You can change the daemon layout, interface settings. You can set up the API, the privacy, and then the teleporter, a backup, and restore. So, that's a little bit about the UI. So I just went over step-by-step -step on getting a uh, Pi-hole running on CosOS using Big Bear CosOS, the third-party app store. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. Uh, there's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.